Get ready for the most amazing Chinese barbecued pork turned into the most amazing Chinese barbecued pork sandwich. If you're a Chinese food fan like I am, then you are well aware of the deliciousness Chinese barbecue pork, also known as cha su, spelled C-H-A-R, new word, S-I-U. It's relatively easy to make. I mean, it's really simple to make. Uh, there is one ingredient that's hard to get. We're not going to use it. I'll get to that when I get to that. It really is just a matter of putting a bunch of ingredients into a bowl, mixing them, and then adding them to the pork. And the pork we're using today is this. These are country-style boneless pork ribs, and they're perfect for this. You'll find recipes that call for pork tenderloin. It's too lean. I like the ratio of the fat to the meat. It works out perfectly. When I was a, a young lad growing up in Vancouver, Canada, we'd go for Chinese food all the time. And one of the things we always ordered was a plate of Chinese barbecued pork as an appetizer. And my uncle Bob, no longer with us, would do all the ordering. He'd sit at the edge of the table closest to the walkway. The waiter would stand beside him and he would order. And he would always say it exactly like this. Two orders of barbecued pork, half fat. And that, that literally meant a piece of pork like this, a slice of pork. This part was pink with meat. The other half was white with fat. And of course you would never do that today because we know better. But oh my God, was it good. But what I like about these is you get slices that do have some of the fat in them. It's really great. Look, if you're like my brother-in-law, Tony, then just get pork tenderloin, call it a day. It'll be dry and boring, but whatever. But a little fat didn't hurt anybody. What do we say about Fat Max? Fat means flavor. Fat means flavor. Shirts available at uh, makeamericacookingagain.com. And 10% of all of our merchandise has always gone to Feeding America. And we feel good about that. All right. So I'm going to make the sauce, the char siu sauce, mix it with the pork, and then you leave it 24 hours and you grill it. I've got some already made. I'll make the sauce. But before I do that, I wanted to make this on a sandwich of something interesting. So I have these ciabatta rolls that I'm quite a fan of. It's kind of stupid in the store. I didn't realize I was buying take and bake ones. They got to go in the oven at 385 for like five, six minutes. And then I thought, Booch! light bulb. That's my light bulb makes that booch sound. I'm going to use my grill to heat them. Why not? It, the weather's getting nice. We're all going to be outside. Think about this as an oven that's just outside. So here's what I've done. Half of this is hot, half is not. I'm going to put these guys on here. You know, Max is getting old and lazy. There was a time when he would have said, oh, hang on, let me come over and get this shot. So it's beautiful. I really care about people. I'm good here. Not today. Soon he'll be sitting down shooting. So I'll get them here, and yes, I'm gonna have to turn them, and it will probably take a little longer than five, six minutes, but we got a couple minutes together, so we're gonna be fine. Sauce time. We start with a cup of soy sauce. I'm actually doubling the recipe because I like a lot to baste with, and I like extra after for, well, the sandwich and all kinds of things. We need a half a cup of ketchup. Two thirds of a cup brown sugar. Quarter cup of hoisin sauce. We've talked about this before. It's kind of like Chinese barbecue sauce. It's readily accessible in a regular supermarket. Two thirds of a cup of honey. Two teaspoons of Chinese five spice powder. And the last ingredient is uh, Shaoxing uh, Chinese cooking wine. And before you go, Sam, please, like where the heck am I supposed to find that? You can also use regular everyday dry sherry. Works just as well. Look, of course I love the little Chinese nuance that comes with the Shaoxing. But if you don't want to go get that just for this recipe, don't. I'm going to tell you though, if you make this recipe once, you'll be making it again, so you might as well buy it. 
we need a half a cup. And we mix. Everything well incorporated. Give it a little taste. We're halfway to Chinese barbecued pork. It's good. Oh, the God, the buns. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, nice. Oh, those guys are getting a little toasty. It smells like a bakery right here. It's an oven that's just outside. All right, now it's very simple. Now we take a Ziploc bag that I absolutely have here someplace. Take our Ziploc bag. Turn the edge a little bit. Put a little bit of the sauce in first. Then the pork can start going in. Peace. Peace. And boneless pork country style ribs. Not that expensive. I think this was about oh, 10 bucks for all this. And now more deal. sauce. It's a great deal. So let's put in I like two thirds of that, maybe. Now we can close up, shop. And get most of the air out. Sounded a bit Canadian there. Most, Did it? Most of the most air. Most of the air. And then we've done this, mush it around. I remember you can check out our every single way to mush a steak video. And we're perfect. And this is what it looks like now. And this is what it looks like after 24 hours. Everything's got that darker tone to it. It's great. We'll put this one on the fridge. This is the one we're going to cook. So these guys are now ready. Oh, oh, and hot. Shit. Yipes. But now we turn on both sides, shut the lid, we give it about 10 minutes to get evenly hot, and then uh, we grill. And by the way, these have been out of the fridge about a half an hour. You know the rule, we don't cook things on the grill from cold. Half hour, 45 minutes, that's what we want to do. Get them out first. 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 Thank you. And on we go. Hot grill, I gave it a spray to keep this from sticking. I'm telling you, just the smell that you get out of this. Uh-oh, I got a leaker. Oh, geez. Did you see that? Yeah. I had the bag too close to the thing and it melted. What a fool I am. How am I gonna get this out now? Shit. I love the smell of melting plastic in the morning. All right, now the goal is simple. We cook. It's probably gonna take 15 minutes or so. Uh, we all understand we can cook pork to 145. We don't wanna cook it more than that. I'll say it again, we don't wanna cook it more than that. 145, call it a day. And then the magic really happens, but we had a couple things to do while this is cooking, so we'll do that. So it's only been a little bit, but we can start to turn them. Like that. That's some pretty sh** right there, man. Look at it. Oh boy, oh boy. This is what it's all about. So forget basting. I can't find my stupid brush. So we'll just give this all a nice little drizzle. Glisten them up. All right, well, these continue, Max. And you can see they're getting beautiful on all sides. Let's uh, make two other things quickly. The first will be some cilantro, green onion, garlic butter to go on our rolls. How good does that sound? So there's the garlic, there's the butter, here's the green onion, here's the cilantro. Here's the extra. 
Gets a little shot of salt and pepper to enhance the flavors. A little sriracha, a little heat, and we mix. Look, the pork is, is inherently sweet, so the little spice from this butter is going to be a welcome addition. All right, next, some slaw. By the way, I've just turned them from here up onto their sides. They're rectangles, so boom, 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 boom. All the way around, 145 degrees, off they come. What we're using is uh, some broccoli slaw. It adds crunch, it adds color, it adds deliciousness, but it needs a dressing, so a few ingredients and we're there. Broccoli slaw goes in. We had only a couple of things. We had a little Japanese mayo. I know it looks like more than it is, it's fine. A little rice wine vinegar for that little tang. Some salt and pepper. And then for fun, some Szechuan peppercorns. Look, I know not everybody has this, but I love them and I like throwing them in where they make sense. We'll take a few of them, they're very strong. We'll put them on our mortar and pestle and we'll mash them. It's crazy, they have like a little numbing effect on your, on your mouth and lips. So we won't add too much, about a half a teaspoon in here. We'll just add a really nice little additional flavor, make it decidedly Asian-esque. I smell the peppercorns from here. You gotta break up that mayo. The rice vinegar will help, but just keep mixing until it's even. Fabulous. A little taste. Mm. Mm. The slightest hint of the Szechuan peppercorn. Not meant to overtake. Oh, let's finish our uh, ribs and we're eating large. Look at them. Wow. Wow. This guy looks a little dry. The marks, the burned corners and edges, that's everything. Everything to this dish. Oh my gosh. All right, a little more and we're almost there. Oh God. Sorry. <laughs> oh, they're gorgeous. And we're there, Max. Shall we pull them off? Let's do it. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Look at this. How amazing is that? Yeah. Wow. All right. Let's go. All right. Uh, first things first. Let's get the bun happening, okay? Here we go. It's perfect. Cooked nicely in the oven. And now some of this garlic, cilantro, green onion butter with sriracha, both sides. Throw it on the flat top. Mamma mia. That sounds incredible and is gonna smell incredible. We gotta cut some pork, Maxi boy. All right, let's get one. Oh, the, do you smell that? The garlic wafting off of that. Okay, this, this is what's important right here. The fat, the crispy edges, the gorgeousness, the still tiny, ow, 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 tiny bit pink, which is fine. I need a bite, I need a bite. <laughs> oh my God. It's, 
it's Chinese barbecue pork, just not red. And here in my backyard in San Diego that you could be making in your backyard wherever you are. And here's the, ah, and here's the bread. Ah, I can't even, ah. Don't do it again. I can't even do it. I can't do it. Oh my God. All right, let's cut some more pork and then we're almost there. And I want a bunch and I want it to be thin, okay? Look at, look at the juiciness that's going on here. So I'm gonna just kind of go fat on this. Well, I mean fat in the nicest way possible. Mm. I mean kind of just like put a bunch on because I think that's what I want it to be, like this. Okay, so now, to make myself some room here, we're gonna go like this. I can almost never not use Japanese mayo. So a little bit. And the only other thing we're gonna add to that is a tiny bit more of this marinade that I kept back. Just to enhance, just to enhance. All right. All right, you hold on to your shorts because now comes the coleslaw. The broccoli slaw, I should say. And after that, the only thing left is a pile of barbecued pork. And then our boy up on top. I just hope you have some sense of what's gonna happen when I get the bite into this thing. The juiciness of the pork. This melange of crazy ass, amazing flavors. Let's go, come on. There's time for discussion and there's time for eating and this is not a time for discussion. Oh my God, I'm getting the sweetness of the pork. The sauce, the Szechuan peppercorns are coming through in the coleslaw in the most authentic way that is not crazy over the top spicy. It's juicy, it's juicy, it's unctuous, it's delicious. The crisp of the, 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 what the hell kind of bun was this? Ciabatta. Ciabatta. The crispiness of the ciabatta and the garlic cilantro green onion butter that's on it. We made a chicken sandwich the other day. I said it was one of the best sandwiches I've ever made. I would put this up against it. It's very different in a most delicious way. And that, my friends, is all I have today. I've poured my heart out. I've left everything I've got on the playing field or the cutting board. And why? We have one goal here at Sam the Cooking Guy. What's our goal? I'm only kidding. We want to make your food life better. That's it. It's that simple. If you don't cook, cook. If you cook, cook more. If you know somebody who doesn't cook, tell them about us. Push them towards us. Tell them to subscribe. Holy shit. See ya.